Welcome, thank you for choosing to watch this production. My name is Dusty Baker, I am the president of the Penyan Theatre Company, also known as Pitco, and also the director and producer of this production. This production has been a joy to bring together both students and youth from Penyan, Dundee, and Watkins Glen. We are reaching further and further with our youth and our reach of Pitco as a whole, and it was great to be able to get so many kids together virtually to put on this show. We rehearsed over Zoom and we recorded in person. Many of the kids, about half the class, or half the group, didn't know each other prior to our filming day. They made quick friends in that short time that they spent together. So thank you for choosing to be here and celebrate the success and the hard work of these kids. Usually productions come with a bit of a warning in the beginning about silencing your cell phones, but you might be watching this on your phone, so don't worry about that. Uh, we typically also say things about using the restroom. You can pause this video and use the restroom as you see fit, so you're welcome to do that as well. Um, and then usually productions have an admission cost, but obviously doing this virtually we have no admission cost, but we did accrue some production cost. So donations to PIPCO would be greatly appreciated. You may do so by visiting www.pycto.org. That's www.pitco.org. And there is a donate button in the upper right corner. Thank you again for choosing to attend this production and supporting our children as we return to some sense of normalcy here in the world as we continue to fight the current health crisis. Thank you and enjoy today's production of PIPCO Presents, Could You Hug a Cactus? Come one, come all, come big and tall, come short and small and thin. Come neighbors, friends, and aliens too, come in, come in, come in. Come people close and far away, and bring your cousins too. Then once you show, well, I don't know, what do you want to do? Have you ever had an idea that you just couldn't get out of your head? Like a hungry monster, or a wild robot, or a lonely cactus? Well, we did, and we wrote them down. That's why we're here to share them with you. Now, you may be wondering how we got started. Well, we'll tell you.
forget my poem and lost track of time. It's okay, we're just getting started. Go ahead and get ready. You can share your poem a little later. Now, it's time for our first poet. I know she's worked really hard on this, so let's give her a big round of applause. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Zaps. All right, I'm ready. Buttons, are you ready? Buttons is my robot, he's 17 feet tall, he's stronger than a tractor, he'll walk right through a wall, he could crunch the rock with pebbles underneath this giant feet, and pull a big old boulder down the center of the street. He could wrestle with a vessel, if battle strips had arms, alert the town of danger with his thunderous alarms, he is built with iron armor that is dipped in liquid steel. So listen up, but don't get too close. As you can see, I built a fortress to keep out intruders. And I haven't decided whether or not you're intruders just yet. My fort can withstand any foe. The Vikings and pirates will try. The ninjas have vowed to defeat me, abandoned, and I'm to cry. The wrestlers were wasting our time. And the elephants gave up their pushing. Yes, my fortune is impenetrable as long as you don't move that cushion. Hey, what are you looking at? Hear about new bike? Yeah, seems like everyone's talking about it, but it's really no big deal. Well, I guess it's kind of a big deal. I'm the speediest kid in the whole neighborhood. I pet away faster than anyone could. With double leg power and under my hood, I'm Rhonda. I fly around the corner to Japanese schools, check out my beautiful seven inch wheels. As I head home for our family meals, I'm Rhonda. I'm Rhonda. Hi everyone, we hope you liked our show so far. We spent lots of time picking out every word, syllable, and rhyme. We wanted them to be just right, because when a poem is just right, we can share exactly how we're feeling and what we're thinking. It's sort of like a magic trick, don't you think? Magicians love their magic words, like abracadabra or alakazam, presto change up, sim salabim, hocus pocus, or bala balam. Like smattery, slattery, slattery, stop, or look over there, or campalore. Magicians love their magic points, but poets love them even more. Thank you. 
My turn already? I don't have... <coughs> I'm not finished yet. Could you go to the next kid? Yes, go to the next kid. Sorry. Let it make. I hear noises. Creaks and groans and clumps from inside my bedroom walls. Once I swear I heard so and giggle. My mom says, it's just the pipes go back to sleep. But I know the truth. There lives a man inside my wall He does not have much room at all He has no bow, he has no sink He does not have the space to think He has no couch, he has no chairs No place to put the clothes he wears He loves to live his life that way Except when family comes to stay Once I saw my scary friend Sure, he lives close by. I shone a light behind my bed and asked myself why. In the dark, his eyes shimmer and glisten. I put my flashlight down and waited and listened. Creaks and groans, the clucks and moans will make my body ache to bones. He traveled underneath my bed, went so low he hit his head. The shadows creeping out at me. I love my family very much. We're close as close can be. 
They tell me all about themselves and know everything of me. My oldest brother, what's his name, is really quite a guy. The second oldest something else is just a little shy. My little sister, who's he, what's it, takes care of the pets. She walks a dog and talks a bird and takes them to the vet. The vet. My parents are the perfect pair, both dad and charming mother. They took us on a trip to see our great aunt, some or other. And all of the cousins were there as well. There's Hay, you, and Feller, and even old sweet Gramps was there as well. Later on, I didn't know we packed to leave the park, and my father called me from the car saying, come on, question mark. A foil spam. A tumble gurt. Some slimy, sticky, filthy splurt. A wessel flirt. A pimple sneer. A purple mucus covered glare. A bletchin blue. A garchal snap. A powdered bag of fat and black. And that is all the complete list of the grossest things that don't exist. And now, three poems under 40 seconds. And go! Give someone a hug this morning. Leave them with no doubt that you like the stuff they're made of and just what they're about. My grandma taught me how to sew. I kind of wish she didn't. I sewed my sleeping bag, you know, and sewed it with me in it. Meryl McNagnus and Meyer Ducrane walked up to Dennis Dirk Daniels Dufresne. She stared into his eyes, and so he did the same. Nice name. Whew, record breaking speed. These poems basically wrote themselves. Now, let's keep the creativity flowing with our next poem. She may not have been ready before, but this is her time to shine. Hi, um, I'm not really sure what to say here or write. Um, I don't know if I can. I can try, I guess. So, here it goes. Roses are red, and violets are... It has to be deeper. That's not any... I could try something else. How's this? Sometimes I feel like I'm a kite way up in the sky, but then I fly and... Fly? It's not right. I'm not doing good. Sorry, everyone. This isn't... I don't... I, I hate this. I'm terrible. I'm wasting everyone's... I shouldn't even be here. You just write something. I can't. Hey, it's okay. This is hard. It takes time. We all get stuck. But you don't need to write something perfect or even something good. Remember. Just start with a sentence and end with a rhyme and see how far we go. to work. 
good it'll be, but I guess that's kind of the point. Here goes nothing. You got this. The books that have far too short to read on. The ones that are empty you write on. What's next? The people you meet you should friend on. The battles you face you should fight on. The songs that you know you should sing on. The ones that you know you can hum. You can't always do everything you want to. But you can almost always do some. Here goes nothing. Sometimes it seems unthinkable that I could lead a team or race a car around a track or guide a boat upstream. Sometimes it seems I have no chance of ever fighting fires or keeping bees or saving trees or chasing my desires. Sometimes it seems improbable that I could ever be someone who is worth somebody looking up to me. Sometimes it seems impossible that I could ever do anything that's great at all until I talk to you. Wow, that felt pretty good. Actually, it felt amazing. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Well, I guess that's it. The last poem. We hope you like our show. Don't worry. Just because it's over doesn't mean we're going to stop making things. We're just getting started.